Right. Now, um, what I've done is I've taken the solid state Bedini charger or generator or whatever you want to call it and um, I've constructed this with said circuit. Like this. Not very tidy, but it's compact. It's nice, neat, and tidy for me. But I've added some extra features to it uh, that um, was not in the original diagram of a previous video. Uh, here I've added the neon bulb between the uh, collector and the emitter. And I've added the diode as per described in uh, the Bedini circuit uh, between the, the base and the emitter. Um, par apart from that, it's exactly the same. Um, here, I did actually set up originally uh, with a variable resistor, and I found that the 2K is that is the best um, value to have, which I've now uh, put in place. Um, right, I've got two batteries, battery one and battery two. Um, battery one is the one I'm going to charge, battery two, two is the primary. Um, where are we? That's not even connected. when it's not going in the right place anyway I'm going to show you I don't know if you can see that battery 2 is 12.83 climbing because I've just disconnected it 12.83 volts and the charged battery oh dear you can't see that there we go 12.64 that's the one I'm going to charge um, Right, we'll connect it up thus and see what happens. It's actually on, believe it or not. I'm going to press the phone. I don't know if you can hear the buzzing. There is a high pitched sound with that. I really hope you can hear that. And it was 12.64, it's now 12.69, it's now charging. There you go, 12.7. The uh, voltage of the primary battery, let me get in its all, is 12.63 and decreasing. So, it's 12.62 now, and that the prime uh, the charge one is now up to 12.72 just to show you that it is actually uh, the radiant energy it going in there you go I've disconnected um, the negative oh, I'm sorry yeah the negative lead of the charge battery and I got a neon lights lit up so it is actually there is some sort of radiant energy I'll connect it up again if I can get me Ooh, these are terrible, these things. Yep. So, anyway, I've constructed it. 12.72. It did drop briefly because I disconnected it. Don't point, there we go, it's going up. But that is dropping quite a considerable rate. Considerable rate of knots, really. 4.6. Oh, I don't know, it's stopped. Perhaps it needs to stable out. I don't know. Anyway, about this. Um, basically, all I've got is, um, I would say, I'd a guess, about 400 turns by filer. Um, I'm guessing because I just got a load of wire and wrapped it round um, 
the bolt. That's all I've done. Um, by Fono, obviously, uh, as per Bedini's instructions, one wire is thicker than the other um, to clue what size they are. Um, I should have checked for you. Perhaps I'll write it down, I don't know. Uh, how big is it? We've got here. Oh, you can't even see that. Anyway, it's uh, the diameter is about four and a half centimeters. The height of this thing is about seven centimeters. Oh, and the length, width, length. Sorry. Uh, is 60 centimeters just to give you the size um, I had it all over the place when I was testing it but I thought well why not make a better job than this I mean it's all over the place I was going to put um, uh, rods in there like you would do normally with a Bedini um, coil. This was more convenient. There you go. If you freeze that and count how many is there, do your own math. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Again, just to show you that there is some sort of radiant energy. There you go, and it's 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 not flashing; it's constantly on. And even if I oh, I've just unplugged you. Um, how can I do this? You can't even see, can you? That's better. Uh, 12.62 with it connected up. And then going up to There you go, definitely charging it. Oh. Nice compact. And that's that. It's exactly the same with the exception of the um, neon indicator and I don't know what Bede uh, John Bedini calls that bit, but I've added that in anyway. Well, it's exactly the same as you can see uh, with the Bedini circuit. Oh, the original one didn't have that either, which I've placed. Uh, the diode. I don't know, here, you can see I've written down VR there, farewell resistor. I did have one there originally to test it out and as per instructed there 2k uh, which was in the original diagram which is what I got on the variable resistor because I tested it on the said thing and the standard two, uh, 2 and 3 or double 5 there you go sweet hasn't actually dropped all that much. Oh, it's going down. 12.53 now. And it's now up to 12.79. 12, uh, 12 yeah, so we can go on up. Great, eh? Anyway. Solid state Bedini generator.